Hey guys, we're on our way to a call where the customer said it'll run for a little while and trip will break them. It's never good. Let's see what we find. Yes, sir. Is, is that common? Yes, sir, it is. Um, with heat with heat pumps, it is. Important. Yes, sir. One's going to be for your heat strips, and the other one's going to be for mm -hmm. everything else. Mm -hmm. And you said it's been tripping, right? Hmm. I'm gonna check it. It's still on inside. It's okay. It's okay. Yes, sir. I just killed the power out here. Um, if it's tripping, it could be something in here. I'm gonna first look at that breaker. The breakers actually look pretty new. Yeah, there's all kinds of things that could be. I'll just start looking. Now, let me tell you, if you wanted to, you can drive your truck around here. There's no danger or nothing out. No septic tank or anything? Nope. Well, the septic tank is right there. But I'm oh, just okay. Saying, if you wanted to, it's a few minutes, no problem. Okay, well, I might if I have to go back over there. No danger. Clean. It's, it's maybe it's 12 years old. I don't, I'm not sure. But I change the filters religiously. And they make them, you know, every two months. They say these three months filters. So I change them. Well, changing your filters is uh, an important thing that a lot of people forget. Let me see, we got a defrost control board up there. Blower relay and capacitor. Just like one of those old over unders. <clears throat> Make sure I don't have power. If you hear me talking to myself, I'm doing a little video on this. Alright. Ok, 
okay that needs to be a 60. something a little more serious he said sometimes it trips a breaker I run a little while and it'll trip a breaker no ohms no ohms both of those open lead a scroll on this one mm -hmm. I'm not showing anything to ground and he says it runs and cools but it'll trip a breaker oh so that's not a um, blower relay we're gonna have us a variable speed blower motor I'm just gonna take some of this apart so I can look at it. This is an over-under. It is, it's an over-under. They just don't, I don't know anybody that makes these anymore. 2008. It's a lot more recent than I thought it might be. Okay, we got it running. What we're going to do is check on um, amp draws. Let me see, put this over here. Get it on amps and in rush. And then we're going to. This thing has zero time delay on it. Then we're going to plug it up and check our. 142 Did that breaker just trip? I think it did. I when it tried to come back on so that tells me it's having trouble starting block rotor ramps 137 let's put some kind of hard start kit on this and see if that helps it out I am um, my first time using not one with a relay but this name brand and um of course, red goes to run. Black goes to common. <clears throat> he 
and that one goes up there to my start. If you were wondering, it's labeled right there. So I need to strap up my capacitor and mount that. So we got this strapped here. There's my start relay. Let's see if I can clean up those wires a little bit. Check again. much better. Thirty-five amps difference. That should help it when it comes to possibly tripping a breaker. Only time will tell. VR22 or refrigerant R22 took a second we're doing good well guys very clear with that homeowner if I gotta add a hard start kit to it that's never good that means that compressor needs help so he knows he may be looking at a replacement but I also told him you know hey this thing could last another 10 years just keep an eye on it prepare for the worst and hope for the best Thanks for watching guys, I'll catch you on the next one.